Last year, we climbed Mount Celeste, but everything moved faster, and that was quite a journey. However, we left some things undone, and the goddess of challenge has come to knock on our door. So today, we'll go inside the core of the mountain and see if we are worthy. This is Celeste, but faster, too. Upon starting chapter 8, I saw the old lady by the entrance of the mountain and rapidly advanced into the core. The main mechanic this chapter adds is that Madeline's dash does not reset when you touch the ground, so I had to be extra careful and precise with my movements. At first, the magma blocks and the fireballs weren't much of a problem, and I didn't die as much in the first couple of rooms. Then, suddenly, the core froze and everything I had learned for the last minutes was good for nothing. I tried to go back to the main entrance, which was a little bit rough, and then I used the now frozen fireballs to keep going up. Sure, everything moving faster made things a lot more difficult, but so far there hadn't been any major hiccups. Yet. I kept advancing, switching stances and bouncing off frozen fireballs and magma blocks alike, telling through Madeline's movements a beautiful song of ice and fire. And then, the calamity began. Rotating fireballs at high speed, combining magma blocks with the Aztec pinballs from chapter 6, switching stances between Hell and Antarctica, and on top of all that, remember that my dash didn't reset even if I touched the ground. I mean, look at the shit I was pulling off! Dodging dozens of frozen fireballs, sliding through factory rails, narrowing, surviving... Reaching the core of Mount Celeste wouldn't be easy. And then, the lava started to rise. So now I had to deal with the less increased speed, combined with a rising sea of lava that didn't let me doubt for half a second what should be my next move. It was complicated, sure. I died a lot, sure. But it also looked f***ing amazing. Like Madeline was yet again a ninja wearing Hermes boots. Frozen Hell didn't let me catch a break neither, as the ice spike slowly ascended after me. I had to resort to wall bounces to escape the deadly ice spikes, and there was a point of this climb to the core where I had to deal with this. I won't even explain it, I'll just show it. Weskis, boot the clip up, please. How the fuck do I get out of here? After more time that I am comfortable to admit to, I reached the next room and beat it on my first try, which was quite impressive. Now I had to deal with the rising lava menace and the ice spikes slowly coming down for me, changing stances every now and then to keep advancing. And when I thought this couldn't get more intense, my worst enemy came once again to induce me into despair. The Golden Feather. I am not sure if you can appreciate it enough in this video, but controlling Madeline in this state at increased speed was a nightmare. I kept diving into lava, getting hit by fireballs or missing the trajectory of the golden feathers. In any case, this was the room that broke me. I failed so many times that I generally thought this was not possible to accomplish for a guy like me. And I felt very, very tempted to just forfeit and scrap this little video sequel that we knew you guys wanted. However, Celeste is not about giving up. It is a beautiful game about coming to terms, finding inner peace, and the necessary resolve to keep climbing. And that's exactly what I fucking did. On the next room, something weird was happening. There were pink and blue platforms that I had never seen before, popping in and out of existence every second or so. It took some time to adjust myself to them, but after a couple of minutes I got the gist of it and kept going until I saw a cassette in the distance. Could that be it? Was that the ending of the chapter? I kept trying and trying and trying, getting roasted by the fireballs or the sea of lava, until I managed to survive the room and reach for the cassette. And that was it! I arrived at the center of Mount Celeste, and there, in that peaceful void, I found the heart of the mountain. The core had been conquered, and Madeline's journey could now come to an end, giving her the chance to spend some time with his hipster friend, the CEO Ghost, or the old lady and the bird. Right? 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 <laughs>